me now. Okay. <laughs> what was up with that? I don't know. Okay, uh, okay, we're starting. We're starting. We, we know how to start episodes, we promise, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so how do we get in here? I all? Not through there, I don't yeah, think. Okay. I think it was through the cave. This way, yeah. No, it, it, it was by the train. Into the stump. Then, into the stump. Because we're totally not stumped, right? Take you, uh, okay, um, so we were by the lake we, last, we, right? We need to go find uh, Sasha. Yeah, we need to get that thing to get into his lab. And I remember it was somewhere around the uh, sensory deprivation area, but... Have you ever been inside a sensory deprivation tank, by the way? No, it sounds super weird. It's like I, I can't imagine like people who are like, oh, just just throw some ping pong balls over your eyes and flash a red light on them, and suddenly you'll be riding unicorns with Thomas Edison. Basically, yeah, that's see. I'm actually I'm actually kind of curious on trying it myself. Like we have a we have one we can use that for like up in Palmer, I think. God, I can't imagine what that would be like. Like, like I've never actually... I feel like this would be, I, like, just one of those things I'd want to do at least once. I, I saw, like, uh... Do you, do you watch Red and Link at all? Red and what? Red and Link. Red and Link? I'm afraid I haven't. Uh, yeah, they played the, uh... Like, like do you watch Epigraph Battles of History at all? Uh, I've watched... I've watched a couple of them. They, I, they I don't played think... the... They played the Wright Brothers in the Super Mario vs. the Wright Brothers episode. Sup what? Super Mario Brothers versus the what? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the Wright Brothers versus Super Mario Brothers. I mean, the only thing they have in common is that they're brothers. Exactly. But anywho. Yeah, um, but yeah, they play, that's that's one where I got heard heard of them from, and uh, and uh, I saw on their channel they went to a set. They do like a bunch of uh, like uh, Will It Blend type stuff, like just a bunch of cool experimenting really stuff. Really stupid science. Basically, yeah. And uh, one of the ones was they just wanted to see what a deprivation tank, a sensory deprivation tank, was like, and. Yeah. Okay. So, so I remember Mila was going to be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember if she's going to be here right now. I don't. But I remember so. Mila was over here. Yeah, I think I think yeah. she's right there. Yeah. Is she? Oh, let's find out. So I mean, we could go give Mila a try, but I think we're supposed to go to Sasha first. But I. Uh... Yeah. I can get there. I will get there. I can oh. make this. Oh. oh. This isn't Majora's Mask. Oh well. Okay. But yeah, it's, I mean, like my my brother tried to introduce me. I I, I feel like the, I feel like I'm this way with a lot of channels because somebody tried to introduce me to re Epic Rap Owls of History, and I'm just like, eh. It's just not on my wavelength, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's it's all an if, a thing of taste. Like, um, I know a lot of people who can't get into Brental Floss. I I like Brental. I you know, I I think there's something creative about what Brental Floss, Brental Floss does. Floss is great. Like, um... But, I mean, I guess you could say the same thing about Epic Rap Battles, but... He kind of does what, um... He's kind of like, uh... He's kind of a more, uh... A kid-friendly version of, uh... Of uh, Miracle of Sound, and if you've been... If, oh, I, I wouldn't say he's kid-friendly. <laughs> well, I mean... He's a, he's a more upbeat version of Miracle of Sound. That's, okay. that's the better word that, for That's it. a better word for it, I think. I was gonna say, both, both of their stuff is pretty... But, adult, I mean, it's like, like... You listen to, like, uh... What's... I think it's called, like, the... Two Two Blues, which I think is, like... The... Before you ever get the chance to try that again. Oh dear. But I think it's like, he did a version of the uh, Mario Underwater theme with lyrics, and it's just... Like, it, it's gorgeous. Like, I can't think of another word to describe it, but it's just kind of... It's it's kind of beautiful. I think... I know? I know that one. I think my favorite one he's done to, for me was the uh, the Bioshock song. Like, both of the Bioshock ones are really good. I haven't heard the Bioshock one. You haven't? I know. I'll, I'll have to go look it up once okay. this episode's over. Okay, he did he did one about uh, the original, <coughs> like, in sort of a 40s ragtime style, and then he did one about Infinite in Barbershop Quartet. Oh, that makes sense. And it's pretty amazing. That sounds pretty amazing. Okay, so... Where the but, fuck am I going? But it's like, you know what I've gotten into recently on YouTube? What? And it is something that is uh, rather dank, as we would say. Oh dear. Uh, but it's uh, it's a channel. I, I'll have Jack spell it out. It's called Siva Gunner. S i i v a g u n n e r. And um, and it, and it's spelled that way. It looks like Silva Gunner. And a little bit of backstory. So Silva Gunner is this guy on YouTube who uploads. Uh, video game music, and that's about it. Uh huh. Like, like if you just want to go to YouTube and look oh, up, wait, like, oh wait, yeah, yeah. He j wait, he just posts like a bunch of uh, soundtracks and stuff, right? Yes, but uh, some I I don't know who this is, and I don't know who is in this whole scene, but some he uh, stopped uploading videos, and then somebody went online with the name of Siva Gunner, and in and it's spelled the exact same way, and it looks like Silva Gunner because the second I is capitalized, so it looks like Silva Gunner. But it just, 
he takes all of the... Just go listen for yourself. Like, I'll have Jack post the channel, like, on the screen somewhere. Just twist my arm, why don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna wrinkle this whole Editor Jack thing for all it's worth, my uh, friend. That's okay, I do the exact same thing, so it's cool. Uh, but, but... He t I won't spoil it. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I won't spoil what is in for you if you go look at this channel. But it, 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 it is it is quite dank, if I must say so myself. Editor Jack, I'll just apologize in advance <laughs> if, this, if, this tur if this turns into something we regret. Uh, I both regret and don't regret it at the same time, but it's amazing. Oh, yeah. And, and like, you first listen to some of his work, and it seems really stupid and weird. But like maybe it's just because I study a lot of music theory, but it's just yeah. it's just kind of ingenious. Like, hey, Lily, like I'm gonna spoil it in a very minor way. There's something really cool about like mixing two songs together that have no business being together and having it sound amazing. Like I think, like another good channel for this is uh, Botanic Sage. I have not actually heard of that one. He um. He, he does a lot of the same things that uh, Siva Gunner does, except that he actually spells out what he's doing on the outset. Uh, is but, that where we need to go? But he mixes... Uh, is that where we are? Is that where we need to go, or is that where we are? Uh, scroll back up. Uh, is, scroll back up to it's where... Like inverted controls. Hang here. on. There we go. So... Is that where we need to go, or is that where we are? I believe that's where we are, because I think, like, you can see a bridge right there. Yeah, that's, that's where we got it. Wait, wait, wait. Unless no, that's, that's where that's where we are. All right, so we need to go up. Okay, so we need to go north. But yeah, Botanic Sage. I'll have Jack, I'll have Editor Jack post it in like the corner again. Uh, but he he mixes uh, game music with like pop music and hip hop music, and it actually fits really well most of the time. No need to pause there. I don't know where I'm going. All right. <clears throat> but like maybe it's just the music theory not in me, but like. It just sounds so awesome when he's able to get it right. Okay, so let's But anywho, let, let, let's open up our map again, make sure we're in the right area. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Da, ba, da. okay. Nope, we're not in the right area. Not even remotely. Okay. Oh boy. Another flaw with this game, I'm afraid. I just have no Is idea. that it's just I mean yeah. <laughs> Sp Wait. Aha! Spiral Mountain the Saint. Where would you like to take your <laughs> All right. well, well, I mean, I, I guess Spiral Mountain wasn't even the dr the hub zone for Banjo Kazooie, but what you, you get the idea. Everybody remembers it, though. Yeah. Uh, let's we don't want to go for the parking lot. So, geodesic psycho isolation. Is this it? I think so. Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Say that five Roger times that, fast. Mr. Crowler. I, I don't know the, any of the other lyrics. Does that require me understanding oh, what Ozzy says? I, I feel so bad whenever people are like, I can memorize the lyrics to this song, but I can't study. I'm the exact opposite. Like, I'm really good at studying, but... Well, like, there, there's just something about lyrics that... I the just... thing is, Ozzy Osbourne in particular is, like, almost impossible to follow lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> like, people can't understand him when he speaks, let alone when he sings. Where is the lie, though? Uh, is, is, am I in the right is it in here? I, I feel like it is. Like, like he mentioned a button that we're supposed to find. Yeah, like, uh, we're gonna get some shit probably for not like listening to what we had to. Find. Oh yeah. Oh well. G Game Grumps Naughty Bear playthrough much? Oh jeez, yeah. I oh, I forgot that existed. Yeah. Maybe there's a back ba back in the old uh, the, John Aaron days. The John Tronian era. Uh, it feels so. It feels like so long ago. I know. Like it's been what? Well, like three like years now? part of me says it. Part of me says it was just yesterday, but I'm so used to uh, Dan as a grump now that it's weird to go back and watch now. Yeah, like... Like, I went back and watched their uh, Drakhen playthrough. Drakhen? I don't think I remember that one. It's... it's. I, I personally think it's the best uh, Aaron and John that they've done. It was a one-off. Yeah, my, uh, my favorite was one they're never going to finish. Oh, don't remind me. Yeah. Yeah, well, let's, uh... Ah. I, I'd say we should aspire not to do the same thing, like, to pl not play long games, but then again, you guys did just start Kingdom Hearts. So. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we're making progress on that one. Like, as I'm doing this right now, we're, uh... Pretty far into Hollow Bastion at this point. I mean, if, if I had to say something as, like, someone who watches Let's Plays, I always find, like, shorter games to be a bit more palatable to watch. Yeah. Because RPGs are... 
Like, I like especially something like an older Final Fantasy game or... I, don't, I was about to say Dark Souls, but Dark Souls would actually be pretty fun to watch, I think. Yeah, oh god. But... I, I don't know. I played it. I enjoyed it. We'll talk. We'll talk about doing it. We talked about doing it once or twice. But uh, have you ever played it? See, I played it with. Uh, I played it with Fame back when we were together. But uh, never got a chance to do a very thorough playthrough of it. Mm, okay. Because, and, and that's another thing that I think a lot of beginning Let's Players should take note of is that stick to games that you know. Yeah. Uh, like, like, I feel like we're having all of this crazy deep discussion because we sort of kind of know what we're doing. Kind of. Ki <laughs> I mean, I guess we're kind of not. I can't but... really say that now as we have literally no idea Wait, wait, what wait. We're go, doing. go back down. Go back down there. I thought I saw a door in that river. No, no that's a great. Eh. But you went down there anyway. Eh. Like a sucker. Yeah, see, we can't say we really know what we're doing when we are... We can't say we know what we're doing because we, we I, literally have no idea what we're doing right I, now. I, I have technically played this game before, I promise. I, I ha have at some I, point. I have the meat circus achievement, but there are parts of this game that I have just blacked out for whatever reason. Uh, probably uh, like, like, I, find some of the I, I, I feel like I remember the uh, second half of this game a lot better than I remember the first. Yeah, so do I. Like... <laughs> And that, I think, is another flaw of its design, is that... Eh. Eh. Nope. Okay. Like, like I, I, I... I'm glad that it does get good. Like, like it's, it's always good. But I'm glad that it always... That it gets good, like, an hour in. But at the same time, it does kind of feel like it has Final Fantasy XIII Syndrome. Oh, come on. That's a little harsh. <laughs> I played thirteen. What, what, I know. I know what. I know what, what kind of shit that puts you there. Harsh to thirteen or harsh to psychonauts? Harsh to psychonauts. Obviously. Okay. I okay. played thirteen. I know what kind of shit you're talking. I mean, about. I, I haven't. I haven't played thirteen. I'm just going by what I've heard. Uh, it's. It's. It's another game that's in my Steam library that I still need to get around to. I. I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. Yeah. Like. See, I've already. I've. I've already gone on my tangent to that. Some of the, my problems with Final Fantasy. See. I will say, in terms of worst written, I still stand by the fact that <coughs> I still stand by the fact that eight is probably the worst. See, I mean, I I can't really throw stones because six is the only one I've actually played to the end. Ah, uh, so you were spoiled with them then. That was like the best one. Oh, okay. I, but I mean, I got I got a good ways through four and. Oh, uh, see, uh, six is the best one technically, but I do, but I think four is probably my favorite of them. I, I mean, there is a difference between best and favorite. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, but I mean, you can like stuff and still think they're stupid. But I, I think I think four had a much, and it's the reason I haven't finished it, is that it just has a really really harsh difficulty curve. Uh, you it, mean it, like after you become a paladin and all that. Yeah, thing? especially in the DS version. Oh yeah. Which definitely. is which is the one I have, and I actually recently uh, picked up the Steam version in the hopes that I could probably maybe get into it again. It's pretty good. Uh, but, but yeah, I just got to the Dark Elf and there was just uh, nothing yeah. nothing I could do aside Most from grind down. some more. Yeah, it's. I feel like it, it is a bit harder than I remember. Like, um, I remember going through it no problem on the DS version, but then when I got to Steam, like, I completely got my ass ragdolled fighting uh, Golbez for the first time. Yeah, and and doesn't like the SNES version have an easy mode or something? I actually don't know. But then it has a worse. Tra that that's another thing with Final Fantasy is that every version you get has its trade-offs. Yeah, like like, um, like like five has the best translation, but the worst version of the soundtrack and this and that and. Uh. Yeah, like. It, it, and don't get the steam. I, mean, I have it, no idea where I'm going. Okay, yeah, okay. You know, uh, next time on Party Play, we're going to figure out where, the, where we go next. All right, that sounds like a solid plan.